Whew. Rich Side K9, late as always, you know how we do. We're doing some outside place work with this little GSP. It's raining, it's cold, it's supposed to be like 30 degrees in the morning. It went from, I think, 75 or 80 today down to like 45 right now. It's pretty chilly, so you see a little thicker jacket on. We got a bunch of dogs out here in the runs. You can't see them. You see some flashes there, some collars on some dogs. We're getting ready to train. But um, four dogs outside. GSP doing place work. Why is this important? This dog hates to be alone. Hates to be on place, especially when it's alone. So we've become a long way. Now, if you look close, the dog's on a collar and it's on a long line. Long line's laying there. Why do I have a long line on the dog with the collar unless I'm scared training doesn't work? So I'm not an idiot. It's a GSP and it's a, a scared GSP. These things run, it's a problem. So we're working on duration with place. And the one thing I got very lucky on this dog with is that the dog loves to eat. So, kiss my baby. Everything, right? Everything, existential. No, 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 get back on the place. Get up there. Comes off to get the food. Back on the place. Oh, you can't see. Food goes in. Good, mama. Cam works horrible, guys, but uh, I get it. Reinforce the place there. And we're gonna see how far we can go. Now, up to this point, um, again, this dog does not like to be alone. One of the big things, not out here. A lot of GSPs don't. I'm talking, I'm moving. These are all triggers that can make a dog break place. But uh, so far, so good, pretty excited. And for that one, nighttime, raining, windy, cold. I'm talking, I'm moving. We got a bunch of dogs outside. So we're gonna jackpot the dog with a pretty good amount here. Oh, oh, oh mama. Yeah. That's good, super. Shh. Reinforce with the dog, stay in place. Shh. I'm gonna reinforce it twice. Cause this time, put some pretty good distance between me and the dog. Hands are empty, guys. One hand on the camera, one hand here. Yes, I got an e-collar in my pocket. Yes, I feel pretty confident I get this dog back if we didn't break on an e-collar. It's got a really strong tone recall right now. Um, doing pretty good though, man. I don't know if y'all can see it. So again, I'm on a mountain. The second I get outside of my train lights, it's pitch black. And I mean pitch black. There are some dangers to training a dog in this environment. If a dog breaks and runs and you don't get it back real damn quick and you lose sight of the dog, you got a real serious problem. But um. So she just broke right here. I'm gonna put the dog back on the pad. Come on. Place. Place. Come on. Good mama. Come on. Get up. All the way, all the way, all the way. Don't have a GSP moment. Good. All right. So, tail still wagging. A little bit far. We can't reward that. We had to give a slight correction. And we're gonna do it again. Don't make a big deal, guys, if a dog breaks a place like that. It's a lot for this dog, for this female. By herself. Uh, male, I'm sorry. By himself, he doesn't like to be alone. Um, you can fill in any of the little verbs you want. Nervous, skittish, afraid, turns into too much excitement. And with a GSP, that equals just flat out explosion. And um, you gotta watch it. So here we go. He crushed it. Stayed there again. Last handful worth of food. He's holding it. Little nub, just a wagon. Little nub, just a wagon. And here comes his jackpot. So his behavior of staying on place is what triggered, what are you doing? So see, that's what I mean, this little dog, like the, the littlest thing, I have no idea why he just did that, but he, he's very nervous, skittish dog, right? So any tiny little thing, but he still, he does a good thing, freaks him out. Um, so why do I have on a long line? That's why. Littlest thing can make a dog spook. Don't ever get too confident in your e-collar. Whoa, sorry about that. In your e-collar condition dog, guys. No e-collar in the world can stop a dog physically from running. If a dog decides to power through the collar and run, the dog just goes. And anybody that's been in the business long enough, you can see it happen on the strongest of collars. So never ever put the life of your dog or your business or your reputation on the e-collar alone. When you're conditioning dogs, use a long line. It can save you. I promise you it can save you. Anyway, that's it. Late night, windy, cold, raining. We're out here training. Dogs don't care. A little bit of place work. We do a lot of, uh, a lot of condition on place, guys. It's such a transferable effect. I mean, I look like I got a weird haircut. It's really not that weird. Anyway, very transferable effect to all kinds of other behaviors. And um, if you get them to hold place in the daytime, practice it at nighttime. When you get them to hold place at nighttime, practice it out in town. When you get them to hold place there, you're rocking and rolling. Just because the whole place inside doesn't mean to hold it outside. And if they hold it during the day, doesn't mean they'll hold it at night. So you gotta expose the dog to all those different environmental conditions, work through all of it, keep it positive, keep it short. 
Keep it existential and you'll always have success. Ridgeside K9.